you're enjoying your time in Ron Burgundy Town, or San Diego, as to it. So as Curtis mentioned earlier, everything here at Honda begins with the customer. His product planning team worked together with the future market research team at Honda R&D to work out not simply what is now, but what's next. Focusing on the often misunderstood millennials, it quickly became clear that this was a generation like none other. So as to attract the, the attention of this very unique generation, we had to create a unique car. As a result, we set out to create the most charismatic, the sportiest, and most ambitious Civic we've ever designed. We wanted to go beyond the superficial and embrace the very philosophy of what a true Civic should be. A real game changer. A car that raises the bar in every perceivable area. A car that delivers a level of premium, technology, and connectivity previously unseen by the Civic market. So, in order to truly realize our goals and our dreams, we had to completely rethink the package. Now, much like my morning today had to begin with a large cup of coffee, the package begins with the hit point. It's the hit point that steers and dictates the entirety of the package. Now, some of you are probably aware that the outgoing Civic has a relatively high, stately driving position. Some would say bus-like. Now, in order to truly achieve this sporty and fun to drive feel, we had to lower the hip point. Now, with this new hip point, it's actually comparable to that of an Audi TT, which is, I think you'll agree, pretty impressive. In doing this, we had to lower the floor, we had to change the position of the engine, we had to move the IP, and we had to completely re-engineer the suspension. It was a complete terror of the old package. But the result, is this very low, very wide feel. The sedan compared with the outgoing Civic is a whole one inch lower. One inch has been taken off the front overhang, which is a huge engineering triumph, and the car is over two inches wider. We've also extended the wheelbase to get this very low slung dynamic feel. So the sedan, it's already pretty good. I guess it won a couple of awards, but the coupe, had to be more. We had to get more extreme. We needed to turn up the volume. So we took the sedan and we dropped an extra one inch out of the roof. And then we took an additional five and a half inches out of the rear overhang. In doing so, we really got that feeling that we'd taken the wheels and we pulled them out to the extent of the vehicle. And the result is this very premium, very low, very wide stance that allows the new Civic Coupe to pull away, not only from the previous car, but also the competition. Now, one of the fantastic things about this car is that, generally speaking, you'd think with this dynamic, sporty exterior, there'd be some kind of compromise with the interior, but not so with this next Civic Coupe. The interior, it's almost a little like the TARDIS, if you're a Doctor Who fan. It's actually larger than the outgoing Civic, which I think is a huge accomplishment, both for design and engineering. So moving on to design. Here at Honda, we take design very, very seriously. We believe that Hondas shouldn't simply be a head purchase. They should also be a heart purchase. It's just like healthy food. It doesn't necessarily need to taste bad. It just needs to be done right, and it's the same with design. We believe that safe, usable design can look sporty and dynamic too. As a result, we invested in our design. We now have two mature design studios <coughs> in Japan, two in LA, and one in Europe. And the benefit of that with a global project like Civic is that I think at the very beginning there were over 60 designers worldwide sketching for the competition of this car. Much like the NFL teams were competing for the Super Bowl, Civic designers around the world were competing for their trophy, the 10th generation Honda Civic. I mean, from a personal point of view, the, the opportunity to sketch and contribute to the incredible legacy of Civic, it's, 
It's a dream come true. It doesn't get much better than that. It was actually my parents' first car when I was growing up. So the chance to kind of have something to do with the 10th generation setting, it's, yeah, it, it's mind blowing. So ideas became sketches. Sketches became clay models. Clay models became data. And data eventually became two models that went head to head in the final presentation. And after much scratching of heads and deliberation, they chose the winning formula here that you see before you, embraced by the US design and development team and brought to production fruition as the car you see before you and the car you're soon to drive. So here we see the final sketches of the vehicle. Now one of the things you're instantly struck by is the stance. The way the car sits on its wheels, this low slung silhouette. We wanted this car to have this kind of feeling of movement even when it's standing still. You'll also notice these very sharp chiseled lines that wrap around the entirety of the vehicle. These are far sharper than the outgoing Civic, which give the car a level of premium previously unseen by the mark. These lines dissect these very emotional surfaces. This car, as you guys are going to find out, is going to be hugely fun to drive. And we really wanted to communicate that in the character and the design of the vehicle. But while the design language is very forward looking, the proportions harken back to the original and the perfect proportions of Civic. We pulled the A-pillar back to give a better dash to axle ratio, and therefore a longer and more premium hood. We wanted this car to be a car that grows old well with age, and you get that with good proportions. Now you'll see in this rear view here, we, you really get the feeling that these wheels have been pulled out to the extents of the vehicle. One of the big differences with the coupe compared with the sedan is that we pushed the side glass in around the rear passengers. And that helped us to create these kind of huge gargantuan rear fenders that really put an emphasis on those wheels and drive home that sporty and that fun to drive feel. Now one of the things that the US design team is particularly proud of with this vehicle is the signature LED lighting from the rear. Now, when you see this car, it doesn't matter if it's the nighttime or the daytime, you're going to know instantly it's a Civic. This was definitely a huge challenge for both engineering and design. Design had a very particular vision as to what they wanted the lit image to look like. And the initial prototypes that were made, they weren't able to achieve that. And I think there were maybe two or three prototypes built by the engineering team in Ohio that they didn't even show design. They wouldn't let us look at it because they knew that it fell short of our expectations of the lit image and what, it, what we wanted it to be. And I think it wasn't until the fourth iteration that they managed to place the LEDs in just the right place and get just the right texture of lighting material that we encouraged that light all the way over the center of the vehicle. And now you could be following this thing on the 405 at night and you're going to know instantly it's a Civic, and I think that's one thing that the team is very proud of. But this momentum, this tour de force, it doesn't end with the exterior. That charisma, that sporty and fun to drive feel can be found inside the vehicle as well. The car features this very dynamic and wide IP. It's honestly, it's a beautiful interior, but it's not all about style. Here at Honda, and with this Civic, form follows function. It's the way we do it. And no more is that true than with the Tech Center console here. I'm going to pull out a couple of interesting features. Now, this thing is smarter than an Oxford Honor student. One feature we have is the electronic parking brake that we've applied to all grades of the Civic lineup. And in doing so, we're able to raise the height of the center console, and so getting a much more comfortable armrest. We also have this gargantuan storage bin where you can store not just one iPad but many iPads and also a large Nalgene if you're feeling slightly thirsty on your drive today. Now I mentioned before about the idea that this is a Civic that raises the bar in every perceivable area and no more is that true than with the materials that you'll find inside this car. Now the color and materials team worked tirelessly to improve the performance of the passengers and the drivers while inside the vehicle. You'll notice many of these 
accent aluminium pieces and also contrasting materials that speak to the sportiness and the richness of culture, of customer, that we're designing this car for. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen. The 2016 Honda Civic Coupe. The most charismatic, ambitious and sportiest coupe we've ever designed. It was an honor and a pleasure to work with the many talented design staff and engineering staff around the world in US and Japan. Thank you.